What's going on my peoples? Kevin King Supreme in the building back with another video from OK Beats. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to sidechain on FL Studio 24. There's two ways to do it and it's very easy. So as you can probably imagine, it's not going to be a long video. Please like and subscribe if you're new to this channel. Please share if you know anybody that's interested in creating audio. If you need custom beats, go to www.okbeats.com. Dot com. That's O-K-A-Y-B-E-A-T-Z dot com. You can also use our mixing and mastering services. And you can also book studio time over here at OK Beats Studio in New York. Also, check out my music at Kevin King Supreme on all streaming platforms. Thank you. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So let's go ahead and open up this main display. Open up FL Studio 24. Open up this mixer track. The first thing we're going to do is select a 808. In this case, I'm just going to use the first one. So I'm going to go ahead and put that up, send that to the channel rack real quick. Now I'm also going to pick a kick. That one sounds just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that into the channel rack as well. And I'm going to create a quick pattern on here it's just gonna be something quick uh, first thing we gotta do is go into this pattern window and make it cut itself so it doesn't just keep on adding on to the uh, to the tail of the sound see now each sound is gonna sound by itself so anyway Just create a quick pattern, nothing crazy. Um, I'm gonna put this at 120. So that sounds pretty cool and this is just remember guys this is just uh an example so another thing to do is to go ahead and add a kick so we're gonna go ahead and mirror this 808 track to the kick track so i'm gonna copy this pattern and paste it in this pattern right. copy paste all right, so now let's hear it. Turned off that metronome, let's hear it again. So as you can see, the kick and the bass are in the same frequency range. So it feels like one thing is masking the other. Sometimes in the middle of a full mix, you might totally lose the whole kick sound you know because the bass is just overwhelming so in this case we want to use a technique called side chaining so side chaining is going to instantly remove or decrease the loudness of the bass so that the kick can be heard there's this uh term called ducking ducking means it kind of just either mutes or just lowers in volume when something else is playing. So in order to to uh, program your uh, your 808s to do that, to be removed while the kick comes in so you can hear the, the kick and then instantly bring the bass right back, you have to do side chaining. The way that you do side chaining, or well, one of the ways that you do side chaining, because as I said earlier, there's two ways. Uh, first things first. We have to go in the channel rack and route both of these sounds to our mixer by hitting Command L. So Command L brings those two uh, those two instruments into the mixer. Now let's hear them so we can see the levels. Right. 
so it's not that unclear but it can get clearer so let's try to get it as clear as possible that's what that's what we do as mix engineers we make sure that every sound in the beat can get heard if it's meant to be heard obviously uh especially the vocal so you know this this technique sometimes is used in vocals too so pay attention or in the mixer we we going to go to the kick track and go to the bottom of it here we're going to highlight the, the kick track we're going to go to this bottom arrow over here right click on it and hit side chain to this track side chain to this track very simple so now let's hear it and as i increase the level or the the wetness of this uh of this knob you're going to hear that kick come in more and kind of just move that bass out of the way so this is pretty easy but just listen and try to hear that ducking that takes place So as you can see, the kick gets louder as I activate the side chain more. So that's a very simple way of side chaining on FL Studio. That's why one of the reasons why I really love FL Studio is because you could do a simple side chain like that. But sometimes you'll realize that the simple side chain method is not exactly working or it just doesn't doesn't really satisfy you all the way. So you want to get more in depth with it um this side chaining method is a little tiny bit more complicated and you kind of need a plugin that does side chaining but um i'm gonna go ahead and just use a stock plugin in fl studio called the fruity limiter the fruity limiter comes with the DAW, so you don't have to worry about spending money on it or anything like that and it works perfectly works just fine just like any other expensive plugin or, or audio tool so let's go back into this FL Studio screen and show you. So I'm going to deactivate this side chain here. I'm going to leave it side chained, but I'm going to bring it all. I'm going to bring the level all the way down so that we don't hear the side chaining happening with this technique. However, it still needs to be side chained. So go ahead and follow that very first step, which is highlight the track that you want and right click on the track that you want to duck all right so i'm highlighting the kick and then i'm going to the arrow of the 808 and hitting side chain to this track don't say side chain to this track only because then it's going to disconnect it from everything else like the main bus just to uh just to play on the 808 track and you don't want that so just say side chain to this track once we do that, we're going to leave this wet and dry knob all the way dry. And then we're going to go into the 808 track, right? So then we're going to select an insert. And that insert is going to be none other than the Fruity Limiter. So once you open up this Fruity Limiter and you hit this little compression section right here, you'll notice there's this little side chain section over here. And you could do what you could do is right click on that and select that kick that you side chained it to in the mixer. So now you're going to see the signal doing what you want it to do right here on this uh, on this display of the fruity limiter. So I'm going to press play and you're going to see, you know, the kick and the 808 happening without any side chaining. And then I'm going to show you how to side chain it. So check it out. see you don't see any kicks coming in which means that the side chaining is is deactivated it's still not activated yet but it's connected but now what we're going to do is we're going to bring this threshold all the way down you don't always keep it all the way down you have to modify it but you have to listen to it while you modify it in order to know what you know what it's going to sound like so um Let's go ahead and listen to it and see the amount of side chaining that we want. So let's check it out. All right. So 
obviously you still don't hear any side chaining but i'm actually showing you what the side chain is is responsible for it's ducking out that 808 right here in these little sections just a tiny little section and then it brings it right back but if we want more side chaining we have to modify this knee knob over here and the ratio knob we're going to bring the ratio down to like two to one and the knee we're going to bring it up to like 15 percent just to start off and as we listen i'm going to mess with those knobs so that you can see the difference of of a side chaining and um you know more side chaining or less side chaining and then i'm going to mute the side chaining so you can see the difference so here we go see there's no side chaining going on right there And this is where the side chaining begins, once I cross that threshold. See, with the threshold down, it's really noticeable. With the threshold down all the way, it's really noticeable. We don't always want that much side chaining going on, but you know, we'll, we'll modify it to our uh, satisfaction. So here we go. So you know, some songs do use that much side chaining. You know, like trance songs or like techno flows, you know what I mean? But uh, moving on, this uh, attack knob right here and this release knob, you can also modify those because those control how fast the side chain begins and how fast it stops. So I want it, I want it to, to happen quick. So I'm going to bring this release knob down. And I'm also going to bring the attack knob a little tiny bit up because I just want to clean up the corners. You know, I don't want I don't want no no shocking corners. I want everything to sound nice and smooth. So let's hear it. You see how clean that sounds? I like that. I actually like the way that sounds. So let's hear what it sounds like with and without. I'm gonna go ahead and and mute this uh, this fruity limiter over here on the uh, on the mixer uh, while while the uh, the 808 is playing, so that you can see the difference with side chaining with the plugin and then and then no side chaining at all. So let's go let's go ahead and do that. Off. So yeah, um, you could clearly hear the difference there. I don't know if you did, but I definitely hear the difference. The difference is very clear. Um, with the side chain on, it feels like the kick is just that much deeper. Um, it's, it's just that more pronounced. And um, it, it satisfies the ear a little bit more because the bass is not just like overwhelming all the sounds. So, um, you know, you can do this with effects, you can do this with reverb, delay, you can do this with um, with other vocals 
to uh, lower the beat whenever the vocal comes on you know in which case you would put the uh the fruity limiter on the beat and then side chain the vocal to it so you know those are all uh pretty cool techniques that um that mixing engineers can do to get the sound that they're looking for in any track and any bit beat or song uh any project you know uh side chaining is is used a lot on the radio when you hear an an, uh, uh, an advertisement on the radio usually you hear that the background music lowers whenever the vocals come on whenever the the announcers start speaking you hear that the that the music in the background uh decreases in loudness so that's a side chaining technique that they're probably using is very very common uh when it comes to radio so um yeah guys that's pretty much it it was a, a really quick video showing you guys how to side chain pretty sure you guys have heard about it before uh, but you might not have been familiar with how to do it so that's about it you know you could side chain anything at any point and really really dial in on that on that uh tone that you're searching for on any track make your uh your bass and your kick hit a little bit harder um you know those are really emotional instruments right there you you, you can really excite the listener with uh with those instruments so you want them to really like come through clearly in that mix understood well, guys, I really appreciate y'all. This is OK Beats. Check out my music, Kevin King Supreme, all platforms. Check us out on www.okbeats.com. That's O-K-A-Y-B-E-A-T-Z. All our music is on there. Let me know what you think. If you guys got any questions, remarks, or comments, please leave them down on the comment section. I will respond as soon as I get the chance. I really appreciate you guys for supporting my channel and I really thank you guys for letting me join you on your journey in making music. So with that said, peace.